Today you will learn that the letter O can make three different sounds. Okay, boys and girls, let's get ready to learn our sort. That means I need to hear you saying those sounds, but make sure you do it quietly. The first word we have here is the word hot. Let's do the sounds of hot. Go. Hot. Hot. This one letter here is saying ah, ah, ah. You need to remember that. This one letter can say ah. I'll go ahead and put this up in our first column. Let's do another word. Let's look here. This is the word nose. Do the sounds of nose with me. Ready, go. N O S nose. This one letter here can also say O. Oh. It's saying its name. Why is it saying its name? Yeah, because there's that E at the end. And that magical E is going to make that letter say its name. O. Oh. So since that letter is making a different sound, I'm going to put it in my second column here. Now this is, go this is going to be our um, patterns for this week. In this first column here, we have this one letter that says ah, 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 as in the word sock. S -ock. So there's that consonant vowel consonant, or CVC. When you see this one letter in between two consonants, it usually makes the ah sound. In our second column here, we have got this one letter saying a different sound. Here it's saying o, oh, as in bone, b, o, oh, n, mm. and it's saying its name because of that e at the end. Let's do some more words. This is a picture of an ice cream cone. Cone is the word that this picture is showing. Say cone. Now tell me the sounds of cone. K, o, n. Mm. In cone, what do you hear? A ah or o? Oh. Yeah, we hear that o oh sound. K, o, oh, n. Mm. So it goes under the o column. Take a look at this card. This is a picture of a clock. Tell me the sounds of clock. K, o, oh, ah, k, clock. In clock, what do you hear? Ah or O? Oh? Yeah, we hear ah, ah, ah. So it goes in our first column. Take a look at this word. This is the word hose. Tell me the sounds of hose. Hose. Oh, hose. What do you hear? Ah or O? Oh? Yeah, we hear O. Oh. That one letter is saying O oh because of that E at the end. This word is rock. Tell me the sounds of rock. Er, ah, k, rock. Do you hear ah or O? Oh? Yeah, we hear ah. So rock goes in our first column. This is the word those. Say those. Tell me the sounds of those. V, O, S, those. Do you hear ah or o oh in those? Yeah, we hear o. Oh, so o, oh, those goes in the o oh column because of that e at the end. You're doing an awesome job. Let's do two more. Look at this word. Let's do the sounds of this word to figure out what it is. J, a, b, j, a, b, job. In job, what do you hear? A or o? Yeah, we have a because it's between those two consonants. Last one. You gonna say those sounds with me? You better do the sounds. Hope, hope, hope. I knew to say O oh here because I noticed that there was an E at the end and that E at the end makes that letter say its name. So hope 
goes in our O column. Now, on your sorts, you do have an oddball heading, but as you can see, we don't have any in this column for this week, so we're going to save those words for next week. Let's go through our patterns one more time. We have this one letter here that says ah as in sock. So we say ah sock, ah hot, ah clock, ah rock, ah job. Here we have this one letter saying O oh, when there's that E at the end. O oh, bone, O oh, nose, O oh, cone, O oh, hose, O oh, those, O oh, hope. Now it is your turn. Do your sort on your own at your seat. Raise your hand when you are done and I will come check your work. You should understand that the letter O can make three different sounds.